Hi everyone, I'm Tim Gunn, and I'm so happy to welcome you to today's Read Along, a special story time with PBS Kids and Little Free Library. And I'm so excited about the book I'm going to read to you today. It's called Mary Had a Little Glam, and it's written by Tammy Sauer and illustrated by Vanessa Brantley Newton. And the reason I love this book is because it's inspired by two of my favorite things, one being the nursery rhyme, Mary Had a Little Lamb, and the other being fashion. So shall we begin? Let's get started. Mary had a little lamb that grew into a lot. And everywhere that Mary went, she wasn't hard to spot. But on the day she started school, she caught some by surprise. Sweet Mary shrugged and hugged her mom. I must accessorize. Then Mary click-clacked down the block in frilly formal wear. And by the time she got to school, she'd added extra flair. When Mary took a look around, her heart was filled with woe. The other kids in class with her were glamless head to toe. So Mary offered fashion tips, more pink, more beads, more shine. A hat for him and trim for her. Go, Boa, it's divine. Soon Mary brought out glitz and glam in everyone she met. The students, teacher, principal, and Clark, the classroom pet. Now story time had gowns and crowns and mounds of striped chiffon. The art class came with glitter glue and trips to her salon. Then Mary amped up music class with pomp and circumstance. At checkout time, she was sublime, left not a thing to chance. The morning flew and soon it was the best time of the day. It's recess time, the teacher said, and Mary led the way. But all came to a sudden stop. Each kid surveyed the scene. We're clearly dressed all wrong for this, boo-hooed the 17. Poor Mary twirled her parasol. This crisis was a 10. She'd never figure out a plan, always lost, but then, she tossed her shades and silk-lined cape, her scarf and strappy shoes, and Mary's friends were just as fast. There was no time to lose. The class raced for the jungle gym, the spiral slide and swings. Then Mary grinned and grabbed a bowl, among some other things. Now Mary's flair for what to wear is better than before. True glamour often calls for lots but sometimes less is more. Isn't that a fun story? I just love it. And one of my favorite parts is when Mary is transforming her classmates. It just shows such care and concern, and she wants everyone to look their best. And the other part that I love is when Mary realizes that they really are dressed improperly, incorrectly for going to recess. And we have to all think about these things. What do we wear and where are we wearing it to? It's very, very important. There are party clothes and then there are recess clothes. I have on my story time clothes. I also want to talk about Mary's creativity, her spirit of creativity, and how important creativity is to all of us. We would have nothing without creativity. Think about music, think about artwork, think about writing, poetry. It all comes from a creative spirit that is in each and every one of us, and it can grow and be cultivated and become anything that you want it to be. It's very, very important to, to, to give it a good hug to embrace it. And speaking of embracing, you can tell by all these books around me that I love reading. And what I love most about reading is, is that it takes you on an adventure, a journey, and you can go anywhere you want to go. So I want to thank you for joining me for this read along with PBS Kids and Little Free Library. And most importantly, happy reading, everyone.